Let's take a look at the TI Inspire Lab Cradle. One of the usefulness of the Lab Cradle is, well, you can get multiple probes in there, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, uh, or a couple of motion detectors, a few other things are, can, can go in there. Uh, so let's take a look at what happens when we slide on a TI Inspire CX onto the Lab Cradle. Well, if we went to a, a new document, oh, it pops right up. It says, hey, there's a Lab Cradle attached. But currently, there, there's nothing plugged in. Well, what I have, one of the reasons why people uh, would like to use the lab cradle is to make so that their old equipment can still be used. So I have one of these uh, old pressure sensors, PS DIN, and it, as you see, you need a special adapter for it to be able to plug in. It's very inexpensive, uh, $5 or something to that effect, to get an adapter and you can get that from Vernier and then your old equipment will typically still work so if I plug in channel 1 and let's see what happens mm -hmm. well if it was gonna auto detect it would have auto detected it by now so the story is nothing's happening because it's so old and it doesn't have the right kind of connector to be able to auto detect so let's take a look under menu under menu we see a couple of options we have options to um, for the experiment data. A couple of them are grayed out right now, and the uh, the story is let's look under experiment. We want to do an advanced setup. With this advanced setup, we're going to configure the sensor, and it'll ask us, you know, where should it look for the sensor, and how about we say it's in channel one, and then there it says no sensors. I'll arrow over. And there's lots and lots of old sensors um, to, to select from. Control 3 is a nice way to be able to page down, or Control 1 if you want to go all the way to the end. Um, Control 7 will take you to the top. Um, so home and end, and, and page up, page down. If you just want to get there fast and you know what it's called, how about we hit P for, for pressure. I said let's press P and it'll jump me down to the pressure sensor. That looks perfect. Press Enter and enter again and it says here it is and currently it's registering it at 110 um, kilopascals. If I took it out here to actually let's open it up to the atmosphere and see what it says if, it, if it's opened up to the atmosphere. So the perhaps we have a low pressure system here right now in Indianapolis. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put it, I'm going to start it at 20 uh, cc's and then I will close close it up and one other important thing to, to do for this experiment where we're going to be exploring the relationship between pressure and volume is to um, do a menu and experiment and this collection mode is not going to be just our typical one it's going to be an event with entry and the the name of our event is uh, volume seems like a nice name so let's go with V-O-L-U-M-E here's volume, as for the units, I like that we could call it cc's, cubic centimeters or milliliters um, those are equivalent, those are equal to each other and we'll go with OK alright so now all we have to do is hit start collecting and it'll show this little take a picture looking icon so I'm going to click it and I'm going to say my entry is 20 milliliters. Now all I have to do is press enter because as you can see it's already um, selected, it's already highlighted. And So let's press on it a bit. That's not too difficult. Increases the pressure and I'll press enter and ask, it asks for the next one. How about 18? Enter and we will increase it to, let's do 16 enter 16 milliliters increasing the pressure let's do enter and say 14 milliliters now if you wanted to just make it look a little prettier because right now it's thinking it's going to go up to a thousand and I could have changed that earlier on but if I wanted to uh, change it right now I could just click it and say the biggest we got was 20 you could say 21 there we go um, so let's see where we we wanted to, to do. Uh, we already did 14. Let's crank it up to 12. So right about there looks like 12. I'll press enter and say 12. 
and you didn't get to see the last one, how about we'll make it go to 10, and that looks like it's pretty good for 10, pressing enter, 10, and squeezing a little harder, I think I want to do a 9, guys this is hard, 9, squeeze, make it 8, Let's go to seven, seven, enter, squeeze a little bit tighter, enter six, oh, oh here's something nice to know about, <clears throat> you can squeeze it to five, squeezing, 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 and then, then once I press enter, right there at five, enter, ah, oh, then I can relax and make it say five, and enter. So there is some really nice data. I'm going to say stop collecting the data. Stop the collection. And it's a beautiful graph. I think we'd like to analyze this graph. Let's go with a menu. And we will do analyze the graph. And how about a curve fit? A power curve looks pretty good. We had 11 samples. It's doing an A, X, B, X to the B. He says my B is a negative 0.9. That's not bad. I wish it was negative 1 because of how the pressure and the volume are, are inversely related to each other. The R value is, is quite nice. And I could press enter and that will appear over here. The R, oh, rounds to 1. That's a really good R. If instead of doing this we wanted to, to model it, that's a fun exercise. Let's go to Menu, Analyze the Experiment, and we will do a model. So the model I think I would like to do is the A times, make sure you say times, otherwise it's going to think it's another variable, raised to the power of B, and then it asks me what do I want my starting A value to be. I think that around 1500 sounded pretty good, 1500, and we'll do a, an increment of about every mm, uh, 10. And then the B, I really want it to be negative 1. And how about we'll do how about an increment of, of um, point, point oh 0.01. Increment of point oh 0.01. And that should be about it. OK. So here's that model. If we move this um, 1,500 and increase it, then we can see what the A value should be so that negative 1 works pretty well. Yeah, so there that is. Somewhere around there. Alright, that'll do.